Good morning. It's so funny when I type like titles like that. I think nobody's going to watch this, <laughs> but I know that there's somebody out there like me who is kind of hungry to, to make some changes in your home and to do some things differently and live well and live a little bit healthier. Um, and so I have to preface this with, I am not perfect. My children love sugar. They would make the unhealthy choice over the healthy choice most days too, but but I know that when God called me to care for my body, when he convicted me that my body is a temple, that it is something that I have the opportunity to use to serve him. It's the same as true for my kids, right? And I get this brief window of time to actually pour into them, to disciple them, to mentor them, and to lead them by example. And so we did just come back from a trip. And when we go on trips, they eat everything. I do require that they have some vegetables during the day. I require that they have a vegetable usually at lunch and dinner, but they eat junk and they have junk for car snacks, even though again, I give them healthy ones too. Uh, but whenever they eat all the crap, they crave all the crap. And so just like I get it out of the house for myself, I get it out of the house for my kids, right? And so yesterday, the boys are focusing on sports. They We went to the uh, local track, the football field, and they played, and Henry wants to play football, and they want to do workouts and get stronger, although I'm very careful about what they do. Uh, but I also, while I teach them that it's important to be strong and exercise and move your body, I also have the the, the opportunity, the responsibility to teach them that what we put in our bodies makes a difference too. So after our workout at the gym, I mean, at the track, we came home and they were hungry. And so it was my opportunity to say, okay, we're cutting out sugar a whole lot this week. Um, let's fuel your body with something that will build your muscles, that will replenish what you just, like what your muscles just did and will actually help you sleep well and feel good tomorrow. So for dinner, they had roast chicken. Um, and while well, Milo had cod, he loves cod like me. Um, they had roast chicken or cod. They had fresh veggies, just cucumbers, tomatoes, that's it. Um, Henry Henry had some Shakeology chocolate, which was coconut uh, oil and my Shakeology superfood. So he got his healthy fats in there too. And then Milo had a half of a Milo had a half of a peanut butter sandwich. And so after that, I did let Milo have a cookie because he still wanted one, but he filled his body with really good stuff and these cookies were going to waste. So I'm not going to have any more after that. Um, so that's what I do. I just talk to them uh, just the same way I talk to my, my challengers, the same way I talk to my girls who join my fit clubs. I talk to my kids and I teach them every single day. Um, now, how will it look this fall? Because we are heading into a season of lots of sugar, lots of junk. So my goal for my family, for my boys, Matt's eating awesome. Like Matt's on a roll. Like I don't have him. He's inspiring me quite honestly. Um, and then, so for my boys, we will limit the sugar to the weekend. We'll limit it to the weekend. So like I bought, I bought a box of their favorite pre-made or brownie mix, um, at Sam's and they want it so bad, but I'm like, eh, not until this weekend. We'll make some for when we watch football. But other than that, their sweets will be apple and peanut butter. Their sweets will be Shakeology chocolate. Their sweets will be maybe some dark, dark chocolate with low sugar. Their sweets will be um, some fruit and berries and nuts. Um, their sweets will be um, like peanut butter on um, some whole grain bread or whole grain wrap, right? So those are things that I'm giving them to, to teach them, hey, just because your body says it wants this, it's not actually good to listen to it. And we have to discipline ourselves and we have to make better choices. And so I just pray, like all I can do is leave that example, um, pray with over them that they will like take these things to heart. Cause someday, like I tell them all the time, you have to choose for yourself. You know, mom won't be here to, to encourage you, to lead you, to tell you what to eat. You, I'm teaching you now, and someday you have to choose for yourself. Now, Milo does say, can't wait till I go to college and I can eat whatever I want. But I'm hoping that maybe some of it will sink in by then. But they do love good food, honestly. They do love good food as well as the junk. But, you know, junk was created to make us addicted to it. And they get addicted to it just like we do. So... 
just trying to set them up for success. So if you have any questions about that, please drop a comment. Or if there's anything you do, like do you, what do you do? How do you, how do you limit sugar for your kids and teach them how to replace it with good things? I would love to hear uh, what some of your go-tos are. Happy Wednesday. It's the first day of September. I'm so excited for what this month has to bring. And I love all things fall. <laughs>